All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, guys. In today's video, we are going to be learning 10 things you can do in Python with just one line of Python code. Half of them are going to be for fun and the rest are going to be more practical in nature. The first thing almost everyone does when they learn a new language is to print out the hello world. But we won't be doing that in a traditional way. You can just choose the import hello and it will print out the hello world for you. This is one of the Easter eggs inside Python. The second Easter egg, which is a classic, is use of import this. When you run it, it prints out a poem which is called as the Zen of Python. This poem basically expresses the ideal way to write code. But what not a lot of people know is that if you look at the original code of this, this library, the code breaks every single rule written in the poem. Simple is better than complex, not with this code. I don't know if you have ever read comics, but get ready to read one because this easter egg is import anti-gravity, which opens up a website with a python comic. If you are wondering how the heck did anti-gravity open up a web browser, you can just import web browser library and then use the web browser library to open up a new tab with your website URL. And this one liner should open up your website as you can see with buildwithpython.com over here. The fifth one liner is actually pretty cheeky. As a Python programmer myself, I don't remember the last time I used braces in my code. I'm more of an intendation guy myself. And Python has a pretty much the same idea. Not a chance. The next five one liners are going to be more useful. I promise, kind of, I guess. This one liner is for a coin toss. We just need to import random, then use the choice method to choose between head or tails. Let's run this to see what we get. I know we are gonna get heads. Damn. The next one liner is for swapping variables. If you come from a more CSS or a Java background, you probably are used to swapping variables using a third variable. The traditional way of making C equals to A, A equals to B, then B equals to A. With Python, you can just do A comma B equals to B comma A, and this will swap the values of the variables. The eighth one liner is pretty unique. How many times have you done multiple variable assignments on different lines? Even I didn't know that for a very, very long time, I didn't know that you can assign three variables on the same line. Just create three variables and you can assign different values of different types to these variables, including integers, floats, and strings. Factorials. Almost all of us have written the code to find the factorial of a number at some point. Now with this one liner, you can just import the math library and use the factorial method to find the factorial of any number. Now the last but not the least one liner is used to replace all occurrences of a text from another text using the replace method. As you can see in the example, the word coffee has been replaced by Python. This is pretty much it for this video guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot and I'll see you in the next video.